to this day, when I come to that spot, I always think of that day. My father was a very outgoing, active man. He loved, um, he loved people. He, he loved meeting with people. He loved working with people. He was always very involved in local issues, in community issues, in farmer issues. He was still only in his early 70s, um, a tremendously fit man, probably f too fearless for his own good. He believed that he could superimpose his will on everything and anything and, and um, that there was no situation that he couldn't resolve or take on. It was an April day, late April day, uh, and it was very, very dry. I was actually preparing one last field for corn. I wasn't back in until half past eight, and I remember the first thing when I got in, my mum said to me, where's your father? And um, immediately, immediately, uh, alarm bells sounded. We had a cross bull, and we knew we had a cross bull, a very, very temperamental animal. But as so often happens on farms, he cost a lot of money, and we were trying to get one more season out of him, and then he was to go to the factory. When I arrived on the scene, the bull seemed to be um, standing in one place all the time. He had unfortunately managed to get the chain caught around a bush. And it was obvious to me that my dad had found him. And being the overly brave man that he was, believed that he would um, suppress this bull's uh, wicked tendencies and go in and, and release him. I knew immediately that he was dead. I knew immediately that he was dead. But he was just curled up as if he was sleeping. And um, the first thing I had to do was to get the bull out of there. Then I raced down to, to the house. I remember coming into this room where, where, where we're sitting now and blurting out to my mum, God love her. You know, dad's dead, dad's dead, the bull's killed dad. My younger brother had come home from, from uh, work and we went up um, and we carried him down to the kitchen here. And then we had, in the, in the meantime, my mum had called the doctor and the guards. When we got down, they were here. That's as it happened. At the time of his death, I had my two uh, oldest girls were, were born and he, he doted on them. He absolutely idolized them. And um, I think he probably would have had some great years with them, you know, and I think it, it's a pity that he was denied that and that they were, deni they were denied um, the possibility of getting to know him and to grow with him. You have to ask yourself, um, what value do you put on your own life? That's probably one of the, 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 the major effects of, of the, my dad's death, really. It's, it's caused me to reevaluate my own importance to the farm, what my loss would have to this farming setup, and what the implications would be for my family. But I think the point I'd like to make is that it shouldn't actually take a traumatic accident. People shouldn't have to suffer that level of loss. Small changes can make a difference. I have put in place um, a handling unit to a degree that I can handle a very difficult cow in once I can get her into it. But that's taken an awful lot of the risk out of the cow management. If I have a difficult cow at or after calving and a weak calf that needs to suck, I can handle them safely in this system. In farming today, it's more or less very often one-man operations and, and they're long hours and you, you get tired and you cut corners. And again, while people say, oh, you shouldn't do that, that's what we do. The, the, the challenge and, and, and where maybe a farmer shouldn't be afraid of, of a, a visit from a health and safety officer would be you have someone walking a farm with you, looking from a professional perspective at the risk areas that you never see because you're there every day and the accidents never happened. And 
very modest investment in some of the more dangerous features on your farm and a small change of mindset in being more conscious of the dangers that are out there can make a huge difference and, and can make the difference between life and death.